stabbed over and over while trying to break up a fight in Ocean Beach. Yeah, that good Samaritan is finally now out mm. of the hospital. Look, he's lifting up, showing us the scars. 10 News reporter Jessica Chen spoke to Steve Harding three months after the vicious attack that Jessica, he says he's, he may never recover from this. Yeah, that's right, and that's because he was stabbed six to eight times all over his body. Now, this attack happened in this area between Bacon and Long Branch, and Steve left a trail of blood here on the ground as he ran home for help. And he goes, I think that, that guy just stabbed me. I go, he did, bro, and he got me too, and I'm, I'm in bad shape. And three months later, Steve Harding still isn't in good shape. Recovery has been hard. I can't really... Uh stand too long because of my leg I'm in the back. The 46 year old was stabbed all over his body. Can't make a fist with it. When I... His hands, his leg and his chest all because he was trying to break up a fight near Bacon and Long Branch back in January. Just kept swinging that knife you know he was going out of control with it. Video from that night show a trail of blood as Harding tried to get home to his family. He could only think of one thing. All I could think of was just get home, just make it home, just to tell the kids you love them. Today, he can't go back to work where he lifts heavy things. He has permanent nerve damage to his hands, burning in his chest, and lost sensation in his thighs. Doing everyday things is hard. I can't find work, you know, I'm out of work right now. I can't, you know, go do anything with the kids. You know. He says he'll probably never be 100% again, but he's just grateful he's alive, able to sit here at home with his family. Now, right now, Steve is undergoing physical therapy to try to regain some strength in his hands. There is a you caring page set up under his name that'll help pay for his medical bills. In Ocean Beach, Jessica Chen, 10 News.